It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today we're here for Viewer's Choice, episode number two. Now, we have two epic loadouts to show you guys today. They're pretty tough. We're coming from Michael Cantu and Taylor, who really wanted me to do her little challenge here. And I'm going to say it is going to be very, very, very hard, but we'll have to get to that. That'll be the finale. It'll be pretty crazy. But first off, we have Michael Cantu, and we're going to be doing our attack here on Mexico City on Expert. And we have several troops he wanted me to use. So... First off, we need a firefighter. Where are you, firefighter? Where are you? Level 4. Wow, that's awful. <laughs> Alright, so next we got the lumberjack. Next we have the handyman. Where do I even have a handyman? Handyman, where are you? Okay, I have a contractor. Handyman. He's down here. There we go. Handyman. Fire chief. And we need a contractor as well, so I'll grab him on the way up. So we need a contractor, timber beast, and then we're going to need the fire chief who is sitting here at the top. There you are. Come on. Fire chief. And then he said I get one troop of my own picking, and I'm going to have to go with my merc right here. And then in terms of bar units, I'm just going to have to bring on this uh, super cool machine gunner from Legion. So we're just going to roll with that, and we're going to accept it, and let's get to it on expert Michael Cantu. This is yours. This is going to be pretty crazy. I've got to admit, my guy's a little low level, but I got some pretty good guys to bring him with. All right, so where's the hospital? All right, perfect. So we'll be able to defend this one spot pretty well. Not We, don't, we have some runners. I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. I'm not too worried about those guys. So what we're actually going to do, I'm throwing on one of my machine gunners here. Let's throw all three timber beasts here, and then let's use one of these contractors. So that way, maybe these contractors can hit those uh, runners or anything, knock them out, give those guys a shot. So that's going to be pretty well defended. Hopefully, we'll see how that works out. Next, let's throw some guys over here. I'm going to throw down all of my mercs here. And let's throw down a fire chief as well. So those, there's our setup for those guys. Finally, I'm going to throw down what I want to use. Hmm. All right, I'm not going to use my machine gunner just... Actually, yeah. We're going to throw down the machine gunner back here, and then the rest of my guys are melee units, so we'll see how that works out. But worst comes to worst, I'm going to have a wall of handymen just chilling out here, waiting. They're just waiting to defend if they can. Alright, so, first drops of the horde, here they come. Let's see if the handyman can just knock him out, look at that, boom, they are, they can do something. Okay, so, so far we've lost two of our guys. We're actually having some pretty heavy losses here. All right, next I'm going to throw down my firemen. Let's slow down, replenish that a little bit. We got some firemen going. I'm going to save my fire chiefs for as long as possible. Firemen, go. Lumberjack, go. Help defend the machine gunner. Go, 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 go. All right, so, so far so good. We lost one guy over here. Let's slow down that, another lumberjack over there. Come help support that machine gunner. These melee troops aren't doing too well, but they're doing the best they possibly can. Alright, I'm going to stem up these mercs over here. See if we can move them a little bit closer. Knock out these drones a little bit faster. We are doing so good. Boom! Knocked it out. Michael Cantu's little loadout here. Got us three stars. I love it. Perfect stuff. I love it. And now we're on to Taylor's. Now, this one was going to be quite a challenge. All Desperados. And all of my Desperados are level 1. I don't even know if I have enough Desperados. So I might have to throw in my Outlaw. But still, it's going to be a challenge. So since it's going to be just such a challenge, I'm going to be going on the easiest possible thing with Expert just because they're all level 1. You'll get, you'll see it soon enough. Alright, so I'm going to bring on my Outlaw just in case I don't have enough Desperados. We'll find out. Desperado, Desperado, Desperado. We do not have enough. Alright, now I'm just going to, Taylor, I'm just going to throw in some Outlaws just to fill it up a little bit. Okay, we have one Outlaw. Okay. Well, that's good. That's great. Perfect. Ooh, we can borrow one. That's perfect, too. All right. Can I not? Okay, I'm just going to throw in these snipers, but I'm not going to use them just because I need to fill it up. Let's start it. Let's see what we can do with this bad boy. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Okay. Not too bad. 
Alright, so right here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw these guys right here in the middle. I'm actually not going to move them too much. But first off, uh, hmm. Where are all the spawn points we need to focus on? Okay, move these guys back here. I'm going to throw one regular Desperado, one Outlaw, and then fill the rest Desperados right here. I'm working to hope these, hope these guys can hold down the fort the best they possibly can. Next, we're going to put some guys right back here. We're going to use all three of these guys right here, and then two Outlaws. And then over here, the little clutch area, this is where it's going to all go down. We're just going to have to fill this all up with Outlaws. All right, perfect. So that's our last couple guys. And then this, we're going to have one lone outlaw protecting the hospital. See what they can do to delay the best they possibly can. And we are off to the races, guys. I'm actually going to do this a little bit slower so we can keep our eye on everything, see how it's going. So we have nobody spawning over here on this pad. This pad's doing pretty well, just a couple of drones. Over here, it's a different story. Brute's getting a little close, but we're just trying to take out these drones the best we possibly can. One by one. <clears throat> and we're actually doing pretty surprisingly well, actually. Drones aren't getting too close to my guys. Now the spitters, these are going to be the problem. These are going to be the problem makers. These guys are going to cause problems for me. All right, so I'm actually going to end up stimming my guys. Let's move them up a little bit closer and stim them up just a bit because we're going to need them to get as close as possible. Take out those spitters ASAP. Actually, let's move these guys just back a little bit. Nope, you are not allowed to take out any of my outlaws. Oh, we got to get rid of those spitters. Let's just, like, do some crazy moving. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope, 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 no. This is stressful. This is very stressful. No. They're going down. All right, one outlaw. Save the day. Save the day. Save the day for me. All right. See if we can knock out some of these spitters couple of these drones moving back a little bit before they can take out my outlaw oh this outlaw has to take two shots per drone to take them out that is rough okay looks like they're going to get their hands on the hospital hopefully they'll be able to hold it down if we can keep off the rest of these zombies over here i think we it's definitely possible okay they're on their way too we got a minute and 19 seconds and everybody is heading towards the hospitals pretty much right now Looks like these guys are still holding down the fort right here, but those spitters could be a problem. Let's stem these guys up, try to get them as much power and just amazing power as possible. Let's move these guys just back just a little bit with this flare. Great trick for moving these guys back. And they're all over the hospital right now, and we're just trying to keep it safe. Come on. Come on. I'm going to use these snipers to distract. You definitely want to... Yep. All right. 46 seconds. They're all over the hospital. I need a Molotov cocktail. Let's speed this up a little bit. This is getting intense. No hospital. No hospital for you. All right, here we go. And Molotov. Anyone who tries to get to the hospital, they're going to be on fire. Three, two, one. Ba bang. It wasn't a three star, but it was a one star. So we did get one star with that all Dutch Brothers. That was tons of fun. That was actually pretty tough. But still, lots of fun, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Viewer's Choice episode number two. And I will see you guys in the next episode.